today I just want to establish, <clears throat> excuse me, the value of it. And then we'll talk about in tomorrow's episode, how to get it done. Point number one, topic once again is why to invest in your brand. Number one, you want to build the know, like, and trust factors. People tend to want to do business with people who they know, like, and trust. Uh, that's how people do business. We want to do business with people who we know, like, and trust. We have some familiarity with them. We have a positive familiarity, and we believe that whatever they're going to do is going to be useful for us, at least things they're going to do with us. When your brand name is strong, people will have these families towards you without ever having directly engaged with you on a personal level. So people can know you, like you, and trust you, or at least feel like they do, without ever meeting you in person or having a direct communication <clears throat> excuse me, with you. So just following your material online, for example, or listening to your show if you have one, seeing you consistently, or if you're on TV, for example, you can feel like you know, like, and trust Oprah Winfrey, even though you've never been on the show, you don't know Oprah, but because you followed her for so long, you feel like, you kind of feel like you know them. You feel like there's a connection. I remember uh, five years ago, over five years ago, Kobe Bryant passed away in a helicopter accident out in California. And I was talking to some friends of mine uh, the day that he passed and people were saying like, man, I feel like I know Kobe. Like, even though I didn't know Kobe, I feel like I know him. And that's the way that a lot of people uh, mourned Kobe's passing. They felt like they knew him even though they had never even met the guy. And that's the power of a strong brand. People will feel like they know you and they feel like there's a connection between them and you 